Soccer Television is brought to you by JD Factors, charting a path to growth. Forbes Hewlett, don't follow, join. Diesel Spec, engine tuning experts. Welcome to Trucker Television, the best of the trucking world. This week on Trucker Television, Rig of the Week, a mean Joseph Transport Kenworth. Trucking legend, Vernon Erb. Mileage and horsepower at BDI, Calgary, Alberta. But first, amazing custom big rigs at 12 Gauge Customs. We've got this truck getting closer to being in the final stages. This truck is owned by uh, Scotland Commodities and uh, anybody that's real familiar with the 389 know that the truck sits pretty high in the front compared to a 379 and some of the other ones. So on this truck we actually put our uh, Gen 3 air ride system on the front which brings it down considerably lower to the point of where a 20 inch bumper is pretty much pushing the, uh, the limit. But to be on the safe side, we also are putting on one of our uh, lift bumper mechanisms. This is one of our visors that we manufacture and build in, in our facility. This is called a 14 to 10 reverse bow tie. This particular visor is slammed against the windshield. We do have another assortment of visors that we refer to as Mighty Wicked that has actually kicked away from the windshield a little bit, has more of a retro style look to it. If you stand back and look, this truck has no roof lights. But in order to be uh, compliant with DOT ruling and, and as far as the MTO, you have to have roof lights up there. During the day, when you don't really want the lights to be seen, they're not, but at night, this vehicle is still compliant. The next thing we're going to look at, it's called the strapless breather. In the past, when you wanted breather lights on a vehicle, you would buy panels for the front and the rear, and they'll have an assortment of different style of lights. And you always had the two bands where you can, on this, you can still see the marks of where the actual bands were. On this one, what we've done is that when it's time to install these, you, you basically remove the air cleaner from the vehicle. This bracket here, which now does basically three different things. It provides the mounting for the air cleaner to the cab. It also provides a spot for front air cleaner lights, back air cleaner lights, and you no longer need those straps and it's considerably stronger and the, the can does a whole lot less vibrating as far as when you're going to that whole clean look, actually can make cleaning it a whole lot easier. Another thing that we had done on this is we had uh, shortened the air cleaner screens because they end up about yay tall, so we took two inches out of the screen and refastened the lid. The last thing I'm gonna draw attention to right now, we had taken these fuel tanks and we had wrapped them completely in stainless so the end caps and everything are covered. Now, the side that's really interesting on how we do it is the driver's side in this case, because that's where they have uh, the def fluid. So if you see that def tank there, but we actually make one long tank out of one smaller tank. So when you're actually looking at the whole thing, it looks like it's, it doesn't have this at all. It just looks like one nice standard long tank and we try to match the sides up so everything's perfectly perpendicular side to side. <laughs> 